it, Cindy. I'm super excited about the card I'm going to share with you today. Um, we're going to start with a Whisper White Note card. I'm folding it in half with a bone folder to make it nice and flat. And then I have a piece of early espresso cardstock that's been cut at three and a half by five inches. Now that's the exact same dimension as the front of the card. So you'll notice that I'm putting adhesive only on the outside edges of this piece of paper and I'm not putting any adhesive in the center here. Now I'm going to take that early espresso cardstock and I'm going to press that right over the top of my folded note card. The next step will be to take this to the Big Shot and we're going to use an oval die to create a hole. So I have my layering oval framelit. I ran it through the Big Shot and now I have these two layers, a Whisper White one and an Early Espresso one, and they don't have any adhesive, so we'll set those to the side for later. And now we're going to take our card and we're going to round the top two corners. So this is the detailed trio punch and it has a nice corner rounder on it. So I'm going to take the entire note card and even with all these layers it can punch through and give you really nice rounded corners. Okay, so now that's done, the next step is going to be to take a piece of petal pink cardstock and we want to round all four corners on that. So I went ahead and did that off camera and here it is. Now this piece of cardstock is three and a quarter by four and three fourths. So I've added snail to the back and now I'm going to press this on the inside of my card like so. The next step will be to add the clothes. So I have petal pink and balmy blue. Both of these are cut at the exact same dimension. They are one and a quarter by three and a half inches. I'm going to place these into the detailed trio punch and again I'm only going to round the top two corners and I'm going to leave the bottom corners straight. So now we need to form a collar so I'm going to take the balmy blue cardstock and my tailored tag punch. I'm going to place this in the punch just a little bit less than halfway through and then punch out that neckline. So now you can see the shape that it created. Then I'm going to take and put snail adhesive on here and then I'm going to mount this directly to the petal pink cardstock. Okay, once you've got that on there, we're going to add some adhesive to the back and I'm going to do this in a U shape. So I only want to have adhesive at, across the bottom and up each side. And so that way when it adheres to the front of the card, it won't stick through that open part of the card. Okay, now we are ready to do some punching. All right, so let me put that to the side and we're gonna start with petal pink cardstock and our half inch circle punch. So I'm gonna take this punch and punch out two little half inch circles out of the petal pink. Then I'm gonna use the same color cardstock, but this time I'll be using the story label punch. And I wanna just take this punch and line it up on the edge of this strip and punch out a little piece like that then I'm going to flip the cardstock over and do the same thing on the opposite side. We need two pieces that look exactly like that from that punch. Then I have Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to punch a tailored tag punch. And then I'm going to use my half inch circle punch again and I'm going to do two more circles with the Whisper White cardstock. Okay. Then the next thing that we need is a scrap of Lovely Lipstick cardstock. Let me grab that. And then you can use any circle, but I'm using the one and three quarter inch circle punch. I'm going to punch it once, punch it again. My pieces are flying everywhere. And then I'm going to place that there and that's going to be the smile or the frown, whichever you decide. Now we're going to use the vases builder punch and we're going to use that early espresso oval. So that scrap won't go to waste. I'm going to slide this in the punch and just punch out a tiny little stem from there. And then with that same espresso scrap, I'm going to grab the tulip builder punch and we're going to punch out just a tulip flower like so. Okay, so we're done with that. And I think what I'm going to do, we have one more punch, but I think I'm going to wait. And we'll do that one more piece at the end, but let's start to assemble these pieces. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is start with the nose. So we're going to use the petal pink half inch circle. I'm going to grab a mini dimensional place this on the back and then I'm going to stick that right in the center of the oval. The next step will be to pick up the half inch whisper white circles. I'm going to place them both onto mini glue dots and then I'm going to tuck them right behind the nose so that the top of the nose will just overlap them a little tiny bit. Okay, so there we go. All right, then I'm going to take another petal pink half inch circle and cut it in half. 
I'm going to use glue dots again and these are going to become the eyelids. So I'm going to just stick those over the eyes. I know the eyes are looking a little scary right now, but we'll get to them in a minute. So I'm going to take, these are the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. I'm using a Sharpie pen and I'm just going to color these in. These are going to go on the eyes, but we're going to let those dry for a few minutes. So then I'm going to take um, this punch here. This was that vase's uh, builder punch, that little stem we made. I put my silicone mat down because um, it's easier because this is a small piece and I'm going to use some snail adhesive for this. So I put snail on there and these make great eyebrows. So I'm going to um, flip this over and throw some snail on the back and then we'll put the other eyebrow on there like so. So let's work on the ears. So I have these two pieces from the story label punch. I'm going to put mini glue dots on the back of them and then I'm going to press them to the side of the face. These will be mounted to the top of the note card. Okay, those look good. So let's go ahead and finish up the eyes because the eyes are still looking pretty scary. <laughs> so we'll take these little droplets and we will just press them right on there and you can see instantly how that makes such a difference and this card really starts to come together. All right, so now we're gonna do the mask. This is probably the trickiest part of the card. So we're going to do one more punch and that is with this whisper white scrap that came from the center of the note card. I'm going to punch out a tailored tag punch. Now this cardstock is a little bit heavier than the regular cardstock so um, I wanted the mask to be made out of that. I'm going to stick this in my subtle 3D embossing folder, run it through the Big Shot and then when it's finished it'll have this nice subtle texture that'll look like fabric. Okay, so now to put the mask on the face, I have this tiny sliver of Whisper White cardstock that I cut using a guillotine paper cutter. And I'm going to fold this five and a half inch piece in half and I'm going to cut it with my paper snip. So we'll have these two little half pieces. Then I'm gonna grab a bone folder and I'm gonna use this to curl the cardstock because I want this to look like the elastic or the ribbon that's holding the mask on the face. So we want it to be able to have some bend in it. To attach this to the front of the card, I'm gonna take two mini glue dots. I'm gonna pick them up with my fingers and I'm going to place them underneath the ears. Then I'll pick up that little thin piece of cardstock. I'll carefully wrap it around the ear and I'll stick it into that mini glue dot. Let me do this same thing again on the right side. So I tuck it behind the ear and then I'm gonna pull it around and stick it into that little glue dot that I kind of um, set at the base of the ear. So after you have those pieces on, you're gonna grab your mini dimensionals and you'll use those to act as a anchor that'll hold those pieces down, but it'll also hold the mask on. So then I'm going to take the mask, I'm gonna line it up. Now you'll see that that small dimensional on the right side is actually sticking out and you can see it a little bit. But what's great about dimensionals and glue dots is that you can just take your finger and you can kind of tuck them in a little bit. So just by pressing it in a little bit, it works perfectly and the mask is secured on the face just like that. So now I'm gonna put some embellishments on the front. I wanna put a cross on the front of the scrub right here. And so I don't have a stamp, but what I do have are these awesome downloads. These are part of Stamping Up's Make a Difference program. Um, when you purchase these downloads, they're $12 and you get like 15 sheets. I'm gonna use this one here. And what's great is they coordinate with our dies and our punches. So you can see this one will um, get punched out with our one and three eight circle punch. But I love it that 100% of the proceeds from these downloads will go directly to two different World Health Organizations. So I love that Stamping Up is always looking for ways to make a difference. Okay, I'm gonna press this on the front and now we're gonna finish up the hair. So uh, if you want it to look like a little bald person, you could leave it without this piece. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some fancy bangs on here with my tulip punch. So using some glue dots, I'm gonna just press this tulip punch right at the top of the oval and now you can see that the hair is complete. So now we get to decide what expression that we want inside the card. So I have my smile here or you can turn it upside down and make it a frown. But either way, you're just going to add some adhesive and press it on and just make sure that it's hidden underneath the mask. So now I'm gonna take the tailored tag punch. I'm gonna use mini glue dots and place them on each end of this punched out piece. And then I'm gonna place this directly on the back side of the other punch. And this will just provide a really clean look to the inside of the card. It also gives you a space in case you wanna write a message there. 
Okay, and then the sentiment, we're gonna use one of the images from that Share Sunshine download. This is a really fun one that'll go perfectly with this card. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper snips and just cut around this, even though there probably were um, some dies that we could have die cut this, but because there's so much going on in the front of the card, I kind of wanted just a free flowing sentiment. And this one says, I'm smiling under this face mask, um, which is true, right? Because we put a smile under there. And so we're going to um, take with some um, regular size dimensionals and then place that right over the top of the hairline. So our card is complete. You have this fun message on the outside and then when you open it up, you see the smile and then you have space on the bottom here to write a message. So let me show you a few other versions of this card. So this is the same card except that I use designer series paper on the bottom here and to hold the mask on, I use some linen thread. But you can see there's a smile underneath there. This next one is another medical worker, but I use black hair and I use one of the sentiments where the words are black and white and then the cross is blue. But again, another smiling face. For the final card, I did a blonde haired blue eyed person. I created the eyes with jewel rhinestones. I used some designer paper for the dress. And then the words say, wishing I was in quarantine with you. And when you open it up, it says, I miss you so much. And then you can see the sad face image that's hidden behind the mask. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. I just wanna to end today's video and just say a special thanks to all the healthcare workers in the world right now. You are amazing and we love you so much and we are so thankful for what you do. So until we stamp again, everyone, I will see you later. Stay safe and God bless. Aloha.